Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Today is Monday, May 17th, 2021, and we are on day 137 of the 2021 edition of the Game of Life. I hope that you are playing along with me. So we started the new Fast Track classes last night. Last night was Sunday night. It was the same class as usual. Tonight will be the Monday night class, the same class as usual. But Tuesday through Saturday, we have added additional Fast Track classes. So I would absolutely love for you experienced members to come on there and give me any feedback that, uh, that I might need on these classes. And basically, you know, we're trying to help people get all the way through every step in every lap of Fast Track but also put in some other additional things. So I'd love for you to join me. If you sponsor people, please make sure that they know that this is every night at 7.30. And it officially starts on Sunday nights, but anybody can join in at any time and just catch it as going around, okay? You'll still learn a lot. When you hop on this morning, please say, good morning, good morning, Katinka. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Colleen from Michigan. Having a perfect day. Yes, y'all tell me what type of day you're having, where you're from. Hey, Michelle Harper. Michelle Harper was on Fast Track last night. IMF Day in Carrollton, Georgia. And Beth, good morning. She's doing the Triple P Challenge this week. That's awesome. Good morning, Ron from Lilburn on IMF Perfect Day. Good morning, Kathy from Michigan, an IMF perfect day as well. Jonathan is from Valdosta. Hey, Valerie Herman from Indiana, having a perfect day. Awesome. Thank you, Katinka. Thank you. Um, I've got so much support in teaching our members. They just do so many things to support each other. Do you know what I call Shibboleth? Members supporting members, backed by the Shibboleth team, because there are a lot of members that support each other, and our team members our, our members way outnumber our team members, so we have to have our members supporting. So thank you, Katinka, and everyone else who supports. We really appreciate your help. Good morning, Ann from Ackworth, starting a 21-day challenge. Ann, that's my favorite challenge. So you're going to do great. Just what you need to tell yourself all the time is what I'm going to ask today. This is your new question. Why? So while you're on that 21-day challenge and if you think or decide or have a little whim if you want something else, say why. Why? Pause and ask why and talk to yourself about that. So great job. You can do it. And good morning, Deanda from Smyrna and IMF Day today after a holiday ready for a Shibboleth Day. Isn't that what everybody says after a holiday? Glad for getting back on, Deanda. That's awesome. Charlene from Michigan, a perfect day. Good morning, Wanda is having an IMF day. Awesome. Michelle, Jason was on a roll last night. That man was cracking me up. He is, he's a hoot. He's a hoot. Y'all, I'm pretty, I'm pretty teachery. Straightforward. Let's do this. Um, I'll tell you what to do. And guess what? I have an expectation that if you join and you listen, that you will do. I do. I have that expectation that you'll just, let's go. Let's go. Let's go do it. Um, so I hope that you do that way. But Jason was cracking me up last night. Good morning, Diane. Gonna have a and try to have a perfect day. I'm gonna try. What you got going on today, Diane? Because she's either gonna have a perfect day or maybe she's got her daughter coming in town or something like that. Yay! Awesome, Diane. Watch Fast Track. Um, oh, listen what she says. I need that. I've started to slip and that helps. Thank you for sharing, Diane, and thank you for sharing that. Um, Diane has had great success living the Shibboleth lifestyle, and we can. We can start to slip, whether it's little decisions that we make or it's we're slipping right here because we're losing motivation or we're losing an enthusiasm. That is smart, Diane, to come back around, just do the basics again. Y'all got to catch yourselves. Don't let it go weeks at a time. Come on back. Good morning, Tanya. Good morning, Julie from Indiana, home from vacation and ready for a perfect day. Everybody is. That's awesome. After a vacation or a perfect day. Good morning, Robin. Robin was in class on Saturday and she's having a perfect day today. Hey, Sherry from Oklahoma. I'm so glad that y'all are with me this morning. You know, I have a lot to say today. I'm wondering if I'm even going to get through it all. But this, I wrote this down. This says why. I know you're seeing it backwards, but this says why. So that's what I have been talking about. In my little group called The Shibby Show, 
I did a little video the other day on Saturday called Why Holidays? Why? And I can't remember what I said on Saturday, but this is what I'm thinking about on the holidays. I have been not wanting to have hog trough days on holidays. You know how when we look at a holiday and we think it's something grand, we think it's something grand, and we are having it, and you know what? We are getting some pleasure out of that holiday. It comes because of the pleasure from the, the dopamine that goes off in our heads and the taste buds in our tongue. It's only pleasure up here. It's not pleasurable here. And then after you've done it, you often feel guilt up here and you're not satisfied with yourself in here. And so there's, there's so much that goes on with it. So I thought, why? Why even holiday? Or if it is a holiday, you need to learn how to do holla meals and not hog trough. And so I've really been focusing in on that. And I had a holla meal on Mother's Day. Remember, I think I told y'all that. And I was like, <laughs> pat myself on the back for that. I didn't come home and make myself homemade cookies and all kinds of stuff. And it's like, why? Why? So this weekend, I on Saturday, I had a perfect day. But then Kristen gave me something at the store, a little, a little item that um, the manufacturers that we purchase from try to get us to sell other little things. Well, so they gave her this, this bada bean, bada boom. And I had already eaten everything I could eat for the day, but I wanted to try these. And I just did one ounce of them, figuring that was a snack. But then when I looked it up, I know it's kind of weird. I'm going to have to ask about this because um, I don't really understand, but I think it has to do with it being a superfood. One ounce, they just call it a, an energy carb, and it would need to be combined. Or two ounces is a superfood, which you could eat by yourself. So I don't really understand how something can be. I mean, I do understand how something could be both, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask about that. Or a snack, which we can eat by ourselves at two ounces. But anyway, I did, I did one ounce because I wanted to try this. And that was before I'd even looked it up. What I did was I looked at the back and I saw that one ounce was a container. I saw that one ounce was a container. I mean, one ounce was a serving. And so I did it. And then, because I'm in maintenance, I thought one ounce of that is not going to hurt me and it'll still be a perfect day. One ounce is not going to hurt me. And then... The next morning I woke up and in my Bible time, I thought, well, Travis always says that in maintenance, to maintain it, it needs to be truly perfect days. Well, I went over by a snack, what I considered a snack, by one ounce. So I went ahead and marked that as a holiday, but that's okay. I've got up to 12 to use and, and that's all right. I don't have to hog trough every day and I would rather be truly honest with myself and the Shibboleth lifestyle than to call that a perfect day. I know it might not seem much, y'all, but I just try to hold myself accountable with that. So I went ahead and marked that as a holiday. Well, yesterday I had planned on going to lunch with my sister and my um, my stepsister and her husband and my husband. So we all went to lunch at Miller's Ale House, which is a new restaurant in Kennesaw. If you're in Kennesaw, it's where the old California Dreaming used to be. But anyway, I like their flatbread pizza, which by the way, is only 590 calories. So, you know how you tell, Travis says that if you do want to have a holiday, if you still stay under what your um, calories should be for the day when you're in maintenance or even when you're in weight loss, that you really won't miss a beat at all. So, that little flatbed pizza is what I was going for. I didn't even know that it was that low in calories, which was great. So, I had that. And then when I got home, I had for dinner just because it was a holiday, so I didn't eat this wasn't a perfect meal, but it didn't hurt me either. It was half a container of Halo Top ice cream with some almonds on top, some salted roasted almonds. Um, but then I finished off that little bag. There's only three ounces in this bag. That's three servings. So I finished that off. And I am only half a pound up. And I feel satisfied. And guess what? I am so happy. No one ever regretted not having a hog trough day on a holiday. I mean, on a holiday. No one ever regretted not having a perfect day, but then when you're on a holiday, no one ever regretted not having a hog trough day. Now, your mind might be saying, use it. You can use it. Well, that is, that's just the devil saying, get yourself in more trouble. Come on, come on. Let's get yourself in more trouble. Let's do it. That's what that's happening. But my question now is, why? 
Now, if I did a video, if I did a video, and I thought about doing this, if I did a video of every thought that I had about food in a day and what I was going to do about it and all of that, it might be a day-long video because it runs through my head constantly. But my question these days is why? I pause and I ask why. So if, if there was something runs through my head, oh, just go have that uh, Russell Stover stevia sweetened peanut butter cup. Why? That's what I say now. Why? Why? Are you using it as an extra? Well, that's not an extra, too, as a snack. Are you using it as a half a snack? Are you using it as a, as a snack? Are you using it to please yourself? Why? So that would be my question for you today. Why? Ask yourself why. Why am I doing this? Why am I making this decision? Why am I wanting this? So start to question yourself, all right? And then what I wrote this morning was that we can go absolutely anywhere and we can make a meal anywhere we go, restaurants, convenience stores, buying at the grocery stores. Um, we can make a meal perfect anywhere we go. The reason that we have a battle is because our taste buds are very powerful. They are connected with feelings in our mind. They're also, they're connected with taste. They're connected with feelings. The way we felt when we ate that at the moment, so momentary, y'all. It is so momentary. So we feel, we remember the feeling that we ate when we, when we had it. It, it brought some joy to our life, pleasure for to our life for a minute, for a minute, just while you're eating it only. Y'all start to train yourself that it only happens when you're actually eating it. Afterwards, you're like, you have all kinds of other feelings, could be guilt, you know, and why would you want that? Why? See, that's a good question. Why? So it's just that. So let's let's say our taste buds and that feeling or that memory, the memory of the feeling, the memory of the taste, these things can pitch a fit, okay? It's like a small child who is pitching a fit with you not giving in to them. Who, whoever's a parent or a grandparent or anybody that has anything to do with kids, and you've seen a kid, you're, you're handling the kid, okay? And you aren't giving them what they want and they're pitching a fit. Do you give in or do you say, I need to teach them a lesson that they can pitch this fit and scream and yell on the floor for as long as they want to, but I am not giving in. Most of us would say they need to learn a lesson. That's the same way with our taste buds, the taste memory, and the taste feelings. They're pitching a fit. They happen to be inside your mind. They happen to be inside your body, but they're pitching a fit. We need to teach them a lesson. And it starts with you teaching the first lesson. It gets easier with you teaching the second lesson. After you have been teaching the lesson, for well over 365 days, that's a year living the Shibboleth lifestyle, let me just tell you, the lesson doesn't need to be taught anymore. You've got this down, okay? So let's teach those taste buds a lesson because they need to learn the lesson. And I think that's what I'm going to talk about today is the why. that Y'all just got it. I, I decided I'm going to save this other thing for tomorrow. But I hope that y'all had a great weekend. Let's see what everybody's saying. Um, yeah, let's see. Michelle says, oh, Jason cracks me up when he talks about his affair with little Debbie then breaking up. Yeah, that was just cracking me up too. That's hilarious. And he just really does such a great job pointing out. See, we all have a story of what we were before Shavolith and the things that we had to stop before Shibboleth and how our minds wrapped around how we stopped those things. So here in Jason, here in Travis, here in Dr. Jim, here in Julie, here in me, it all is beneficial because we may meet somebody's needs and we all have different way that we have overcome it. 
Good morning, Gina. Having a perfect day. Good morning, Sarah. Sarah 40A. Sarah, make sure that you listen to last night's video if you haven't done so. Okay. Um, Becky. Becky! Woo woo! Becky got her 25 pound badge yesterday. Way to go, Becky. Congratulations. That is awesome. Okay, Deanda, I hurt in my gut and feel sluggish for a couple of days after a hog trough day. It is true. So guess what? Why? Why? Why do it? That is my question. And you cannot understand how many times I say why to myself in a day over and over and over. Because whenever a food thought or a habit thought or some kind of thought that does not make a perfect day pops into my head, I have gone, why? Why? And I'm going to make myself give myself an answer. And you know what it happens? When I make myself give myself an answer, I often make a better decision. Let's see, let's see. Cheryl Davis, I took your advice on Saturday and had a perfect breakfast and went to a festival with my daughter planning a holiday. But there was nothing I saw worth the holiday. The line was too long. We had planned to go for lunch and ended up going to Dairy Queen. So I decided to say perfect and not have a holiday. Woo! That is awesome. I'm spinning this. And see, see what Cheryl did was she asked herself, why? Why would I stand in this line and do this? Why would I eat this not holiday worthy food just because I had it marked on my pop my calendar as a possible holiday? Way to go. And you know what? Cheryl does not regret that. She does not regret that. She actually is quite happy about the fact that she didn't do it. So good job. Uh, Katinka had a wonderful weekend. That's awesome. Hey, Emily, day one. Y'all give Emily some hearts. It's day one for her. It's going to be a perfect day. Awesome, Emily. And Sherry, exactly what I needed to hear today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, awesome, awesome, Sarah. Trying to keep you on track, okay? Now, make sure that you register for tonight's webinar, too. It's very important. Those hearts are for you, Emily. Um, and y'all, give some hearts to Sarah. Sarah just got started, too. Sarah just got started. And if you just got started, let me know so we can give you some hearts. Because we're so happy that you are here with us. But we, we more than anything... We desperately want you to know how awesome this is and to always ask questions, to always be training yourself because we've got 50, 60, 40, 30. I don't know how old you are, but you've got that many years of habits to overcome. For some of you, it's going to be easier. For some of you, it could be a little bit more uh, time okay? Might be more of a battle. We don't know. It's different for every person, but you stick with us. You stick with us no matter what. Um, so Sarah just got started too. Amy from Ohio having an IMF means intermittent fasting. That is a version of a perfect day. If you are brand new, we focus on two types of days, holiday or perfect day, perfect day or holiday. All the other ones that are in there are advanced topics, that you'll learn later. Monica, good morning. Monica from Lawrenceville. I am trying to meet my 50 pound goal by June 1st, 3.4 pounds away. Monica, you've got this. You can do it. You are so close. That is awesome, Monica. Congratulations. Congratulations. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. And when you get there, you let me know. I'm going to spin the spinner. Okay. That actually has become really fun. <laughs> I saw, um, oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh, man. She watches the Shippy Show every day. She's probably on here right now, and all of a sudden, you know a lot of names fly through my head. And I, I t Anyway, I told her the other day, I said, make sure you tell me on the Shippy Show. She goes, oh, I'm waiting for my spin. <laughs> so that was cute. Um, so thank you all for joining me this morning. Let why, let why be your question today. You, yourself, sitting right there on your shoulder, your little coach in yourself, every thought that you have that has to do with well, mainly food, because that's what we're talking about, and habits, you know, that's what we're talking about. But why? Ask yourself why. Make yourself answer the question why before you do something. And I hope you all have a blessed day. Join me tonight for the, oh, tonight's is one hour on food combining. So make sure you join me for that. And we're going to start to hear the types of foods that fall into those categories, because that's what you need to know. You need to figure out the foods you like, and what categories they go in so then you can build, build the meals that you like, okay? Because we all like different things. 
It's important. We got to offer our own meal plan with the education that we have. All right, y'all have a great day. Make sure you go journal right now because you determine your day. Your day does not determine you. And if you're watching on replay, which so many of you do, please type in hashtag Shabolith for his glory. I do see it and I thank you for it. Awesome, Katinka. Okay, I'll see you tonight at 7.30. Bye, everybody.